Well, you know, here's the current situation. We have this area of low pressure that has been moving to our south. It's moving from west to east, and it caused a lot of problems off to our west. Even in the viewing area, we had snow in places like Gloucester, uh, Williamsburg. Now, as this moves offshore, eventually we're going to pull in some dry air, but it's going to take some time. It's not going to happen right away. Yes, we've got a northerly wind, but in the upper levels, there's still some moisture hanging around, and the low is still kind of throwing a little bit of moisture towards us as it sits just offshore. So uh, we're not seeing precipitation everywhere, but across northeast North Carolina, there's quite a bit of rain. The south side, there's quite a bit of rain, and that wintry mix has been going inland over towards Northampton County and Southampton County for a while. Rain, sleet, snow, maybe a little freezing rain there. But we've got rain, a cold rain in Elizabeth City, temps near 40 degrees there, I believe, and then Southern Virginia Beach, Chesapeake, Portsmouth, Norfolk, Suffolk, lots of rain. A couple of places like Lynn Haven Inlet, maybe some sleet pellets and wet snowflakes trying to mix in. Same case for over here in northern Suffolk, Chuckatuck, up into Newport News and Hampton. But I've seen the cameras, I've seen reports. There, there really isn't that much out there. It's mostly, I think, a rain with some wintry weather trying to mix in. There's not much around Wakefield. Maybe a couple flurries or sprinkles left over here. Maybe a sleet pellet. There's not much. And we're pretty quiet from Bacosin up into Mob Jack Bay. Northern Neck's quiet now. Nassawatox, Cape Charles, again, same. I think we've got some rain mixing with a little sleet and wet snow. But there's probably not much over there. If, if you got a different report, send it to me. Uh, you can go on our Facebook page, uh, Wavy Facebook page, and post. Uh, but right now, I think that's what we have. And same case for south of Melfa. Now, this is going to move south of us by the time we get to about 10 a.m. There might be a couple sprinkles left over, maybe a couple of flurries even, but I think mostly sprinkles. But we get down to North Carolina, it hangs out all the way through midday. This is noontime. A couple sprinkles may try and come back north into the south side, so that's still possible. And then we should start drying out around 3 to 6 p.m., maybe some leftover showers in North Carolina, and then 6 p.m. onward, We'll just have some cloud cover, and even that should break up overnight. Where we have the clearing inland overnight, that's where we could see a refreeze of the slushiness that's over there towards Sussex County, Surrey County, James City County, and <clears throat> into Gloucester County. A refreeze and some iciness by tomorrow morning. Maybe some patchy black ice in Hampton Roads. We'll see. And then tomorrow, finally, things get better. The sun pops out through the day, less wind, dry, highs in the 40s. Tuesday will be okay, just a little chilly still. Now, currently, we've got those wind chills. The temps are in the 30s. The wind chills are in the 20s. Here's Virginia Beach in the background. you got some strong winds coming in off the water. Winds to 22 miles an hour in the gusts, 29 miles an hour in Norfolk, 22 miles an hour in Killable Hills. It's going to lead to some tidal flooding today. So this morning, 1055, Sewell's Point, 4.7 feet. Maybe just a tad less than that. And then we're fine tonight into Tuesday. But some moderate tidal flooding around Duck and then Fort Monroe, Chesapeake, Baybridge Tunnel. About uh, We will see some minor tidal flooding there. So highs today in the 40s, near 40, uh, maybe even upper 30s around Williamsburg, Melfa, and out towards Franklin, but low 40s, Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Hampton, and Corolla. Got some showers lingering, and eventually they're going to move south. Tomorrow, dry 44, and then we've got 47 on Wednesday, 53 by Thursday, and 60s Friday.